So that was interesting. I just had a guy stop in the street to ask me directions in French. I can't even talk your language. How can I give you directions? We're Chris and Melissa. Back in 2020, we left our empty nest to embark on a slow travel adventure, living in 12 cities in 12 months. This month, we're in city number 10, La Vie, Quebec. First settled back in 1647 as Abini, La Vie is full of cool architecture, much of it from the 1800s. What's it like to live here? Well, first, we should tell you what our location needs checklist includes. Nature, restaurants, cool community spaces, outdoor exercise, fun activities, cost of living, climate, and serenity. And treats. Today we're at a sugar shack. You know what? I never knew what a sugar shack was. As soon as I heard that it had to do with maple syrup goodness, I was on it. I'm so happy that we're here at this time of year because March and April are considered the sugaring months or the syrup months. It is the time to go to a sugar shack. Melissa loves maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I guess there's an experience to be had at a sugar shack. That involves lots of food. So I think we'll be happy. Yeah, okay, I guess I can handle this. And some live music and... What kind of live music? I, I think like maybe a couple of guitars or something. I envision like like bluegrass type music. I think it'll be something like that. Oh, I'd be so cool if it was heavy metal. God, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Let's go check out the Sugar Shack. <laughs> yes. The feast included baked omelets, crispy pork rinds, ham and sausages in maple syrup, meat pies, hash browns, and baked beans, also in maple syrup. Maple syrup goodness. Time for Tire Terrible sur la neige or Maple Taffy on Snow. Super sticky to the stick, but not the ice. Go figure. That was worth it for the maple taffy pull alone. But also, I've got to say, I have never been in a social situation where I didn't know the language and I didn't know like 
how things were supposed to go, where I wasn't quite sure on the social cues. We worked through it and had a lot of fun, and everyone was so kind. Maple taffy is the real deal. That is some good stuff. If you have the chance and you can do something like that, a sugar shack adventure. Oh, that'd be cool to have one by where we live. And we could go there a couple times a year. That'd be a blast. Oh, yes. It would be like an extra Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> it was very jovial. And there was so much food. And then I felt like our server really wanted to make sure we were enjoying every bite of it. And I was like, but I can't eat it all or I won't have room for the rest. Levi knows how to make grocery shopping feel fancy. One of our favorite things to do was to take the ferry over to Old Quebec. It was so much fun, we did it a couple times a week. Whenever we move to a new city, I always want to find a pub that just is our favorite place to go. So we're going to go off tonight and see if we can find one. It's all in French. Read me the menu, honey. We have a regular burger. We have a pork sandwich. We have a chicken sandwich. We have a vegetable sandwich, like tomatoes, mozzarella, brisket, and smoked, like a smoked brisket sandwich. Actually, I might really like that. And we have some soups and appetizers here. Impressive. Smoked beef brisket sandwiches served up on skateboards? How cool is that? We just finished eating at Le Corsair and it was, well, bar, bar. To, to speak like, like one would hear, c'est bon. C'est bon. C'est très bon. So the whole place was talking French. We were the only ones talking English. Okay, but what I think is important is the brisket was amazing. <laughs> yes, it was. It was very good food. Oh my God. So I think we have found our hangout in Le Vie. Yeah, and like, Okay, so the brisket sandwich is kind of like a French dip Here, too. Here, let me get a shot of that. <laughs> you Good job. out of it earlier. Uh, it was, you know, it was a brisket sandwich, but it was also like a French dip in that it had au jus on the side, but the au jus had bourbon and maybe some sugar in it. The gentleman I talked to wasn't quite sure what all was in it, but mm, so good. I'm just super happy. <laughs> La Vie is awesome. <laughs> yes. Thumb up a bump. Oui, oui. Say more. Um, <laughs> mercy, okay, stop, stop. mercy. With Old Quebec just across the river, it gave us access to so many restaurants. We ate amazing meals at Sapristi, L'Atelier, La Bouche, Chez Boulet, and Le Saint Bistro. Oh, it was so nice not having to drive. Look at all those tasty treats. We did an entire video on three top-notch bakeries in Quebec City. Payard, Le Coquembouche, and La Boîte à Pain. We're heading to Chutes de la Chaudière Park in La Vie to see if it adds to our enjoyment of life here. There's a danger. No sledding down that hill. <laughs> Bad idea. Damn it. Oh, I think that's it. Hey. Yeah? <laughs> this is a way cool bridge, but I'm a little nervous. You'll be fine. It sways. Yeah. It's got a rinky dinky that. chain link fence. The views are nice though. Her go. I can't. How can she walk without holding on? This place gives La Vie major points when it comes to outdoor activities. This place is awesome. Oh, for sure. It's gorgeous. It's fun to walk around. There's stairs. It, there's, there's also serenity here, you know? Oh, yeah. 
except for that bridge. <laughs> Here's the deal with suspension bridges. It's not about the height. It's about the wobbliness mm. and the, just the chintziness. Chintziness? Well, that... <laughs> It's like cheap retail store I, stuff. I, I swear, like a chain link fence company built that bridge. Yeah, they built it with chintzy chatskis. <laughs> to me, it seems like a small breeze would blow that thing over. It's plenty sturdy, hun. We just went over that. We did. And so did a baby and like a six year old. <laughs> The family, the mom and dad weren't worried at all. <laughs> you know what? That's quite the zinger. I need to get some exercise. So in my old age, I'm not nuts about doing a lot of running. It kind of beats on my knees, my hips. But fortunately, we're on top of this, I guess I'd say it's a bluff. And to get down to the docks and down to the river down below, they've got stairs, a lot of stairs. And I think that's a good workout for today. So I'm gonna to try to do this two times because I'm old and out of shape. So here we go. Yep, two flights is enough for me. Maybe I can build up to three, maybe four. That was a good workout. So I'd have to say, life in La Vie for outdoor activities, for outdoor exercise, that's pretty good. It's beautiful too. Living in La Vie, Quebec is way more affordable than Vancouver. It is. Oh, by far. Okay, so like what? Like, it's even less than living in Rochester, Minnesota. Do you think so? Yes. I found two properties. One is a townhouse that has four bedrooms, three baths, 2,266 square feet. And that's Canadian dollars. That's not very much. No. In American dollars. Look at that, isn't that cute? So yeah, that's pretty nice. So where is it? Like what part of La Vie is it? Are you looking at the chateau the whole time? <laughs> I don't think you're looking at the chateau the whole time. Here's where it is. So you'd be far away from the Chateau Frontenac, so we wouldn't be staring at that, but you're right next to the St. Lawrence River. But I still have one other house, because that was a oh. townhouse. Oh. A house. Four bedrooms again, three baths. That looks like an old stone house. Mm -hmm. Isn't it cute? It looks like a little cottage. Okay, so what does that cost? This one's just $329,900 Canadian. So it's not very expensive living there. Of course, no. You will have extreme heating bills, though, right? Mm, fur, because it's cold. Because <laughs> it's cold. That's interesting. That's really good to know, actually. Right, and the price of groceries wasn't bad. No, it was not, and the grocery stores were pretty decent. I liked it. Avocados were top-notch without paying as much as we paid in California or Whistler or Vancouver. So you'd say the cost of living is looking pretty good. Yeah, right. we could totally afford it. Before we go, we should look at a really cool place just to see, like, what could you get for a million Canadian dollars? If we were going to be fancy shoppers and say spend a million six in La Vie, Quebec, I'd say this is pretty nice. Ooh. <gasps> 
it's usually pretty easy to really like a place that's over a million dollars. It just <laughs> usually is. Oh. Okay, it's got a nice bathtub. Nice bathtub. Correction, scratch that. That was in Quebec City. We're looking for Livy. So if we came across a windfall and we could buy a fancy place in Livy that was about a million dollars, there's only what? How many places? Two properties. And there's one that's close to the river. So do you want to see that one? Yeah. Oh, that is fancy. I don't think we get to use a swimming pool that often. What I love is that the fancy house for a million five looks like it's a fancy house for a million five. There are properties in North Vancouver for a million five that were like, oh, here's your little box to live in. Seriously, it was a cardboard box. Oh, Chris. Well, a bunch of them put together. Mm -hmm. And it's Canadian, so it's not even really a million. Yeah. Dollars. This is Canada, so you know it gets cold here. Winters can be brutal with average lows around zero, and the wind here is often fierce. Summertime seems pretty nice with average highs around 77 degrees, and the air quality is usually pretty good. Meh. We have been doing some fun things while living in Quebec. To get some great ideas on what you can do in this area, click here. Oh, or here.